The BMW i3 is an awesome vehicle. It's quick, it's functional, and it still managed to look somewhat futuristic over a decade after its release. But it does have one major weak spot, and that is its range. But what if you could change that? What if you could have an i3 with range that competed with cars that are new on the market today? Well, now you can, and I'm not talking about some prototype battery that you may or may not be able to get someday. I'm talking about a battery you can buy today. Interested? Well, let's talk about that right now. Hi, this is Rich, and welcome to Wings, Wheels, and Wires. Like many i3 owners, I really love my car. There are so many great things about it. But also, like most i3 owners, I wish it had more range. My 2017 BMW i3 Rex gets about 115 miles electric only range. This is great for running errands or commuting, but not so great on road trips. Battery technology has improved a great deal since 2017. And I have hoped and prayed that someday these improvements in technology would find their way back to the BMW i3. So, you can imagine my delight when I found out that there is a Chinese manufacturer selling i3 batteries that takes advantage of these improvements in battery technology. Martigi Manufacturing has developed a nickel cobalt manganese 154 amp hour, 54 kilowatt battery that is designed to fit in the same footprint as the i3's original Samsung battery pack. This new battery pack is made by CATL. Now, how much range does it get? Well, that depends on what source you choose to trust. They claim 248 miles of range, which would put this battery pack on par with a brand new Mercedes EQB or ID Buzz. Unfortunately, the only evidence that we have to either support or disprove this claim is a video of the vehicle achieving 186 miles of range, driving it to sustained 62 miles per hour. Um, but this is still a huge improvement over the i3's best range of 153 miles. So the title says a 300 mile i3. How did I come up with this? Well, if I took this 248 mile range battery and dropped it in my i3 with a Rex, you would get 248 miles of range, hopefully, uh, plus the 65 miles of range from the Rex. This would bring you up to 313 miles. Now, of course, you probably subtract about 20 miles for the um, for the range extender weight, because the Rex always gets a lower uh, range than the BEV only version. But you can also add about 15 miles because most people report getting much over 65 all the way up to 80 miles from the range extender. So no matter how you do the math, this still comes at or above 300 miles of range. As for the price, it's available on Ichi Tech on Alibaba right now for $5,800. And this includes a battery management system, connectors, and all the hardware you need to install this new battery. So comment down below, do you, what do you think of this new battery? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's something you'd want to use or not? As for me, am I going to run out and buy this battery and throw it in my car? Well, no. For a lot of reasons, I'm going to hold on to my battery for a while. The very first one being that it still has 100% of the range that it came off of the factory floor with. So there's really no need to replace it. The second reason is because I still have more warranty left on my battery than this new battery comes with. You heard me right, this new battery comes with a three year warranty. And of course, after buying it on Alibaba, good luck actually utilizing that warranty if the battery fails. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hitting the subscribe button would greatly support the channel. And, of course, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And stand by to the end of the video to hear my new subscriber shoutouts. Now, if you have a first-generation BMW i3 that only had like 85, 86 miles of range to start with, and the degradation has gotten to the point where the battery is pretty much unusable, this may be a great option for you. It's both cheaper and has longer range than an OEM replacement. Though I have to admit, I also have a concern about the stability of a battery I've purchased from China on Alibaba. Though this is manufactured by CATL, who has a history of making quality batteries. Another reason I might not want to buy this battery is because it's actually based on older technology. I would love to see a similar type battery come out that's iron phosphate, sodium ion, 
maybe even dry cathode or solid state. Those batteries would promise both more range and would probably be a little bit less of a concern about having been bought from China and Alibaba. The great part about this battery, though, it is a sign that the i3 has not been forgotten and that there is hope for aftermarket batteries in the future. Tell me down in the comments section below, do you like this battery option? Would you prefer to hold out for a better one in the future? Or would you just skip all the drama and buy another OEM battery if you're going to replace it? Also, stick around for my subscriber shout out. And here is a video YouTube thinks you're going to like. And now it's time for the subscriber shout outs. If you'd like your own shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and either make sure your name is visible or put in the comments down below that you subscribed. Doug Palmer. Zyhetwell. Todd Miller. Thank you 